Okay, welcome back. We are just about two minutes from liftoff of NASA's latest satellite. We have a live look now for you. This is from Florida. Now, once it's operational, it will help meteorologists across the country better predict weather on Earth and in space. KXAN's senior science reporter Eric Henriksen spoke with NOAA's Tom Rink Heavens about this project. So, Tom, tell me about the GOES U mission. What is it happening? What's going on? So the GOES-U mission, GOES stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. That mission has instruments on it that see the Earth 24-7. The, the satellite at 22,000 plus miles rotates around the Earth at the same rotation speed as the Earth. So you can see pictures of the Earth 24 hours a day, seven days a week, things like tropical cyclones and hurricanes in the Gulf area, severe weather that might blossom them up over the plains or Texas there. Uh, so it, it is really the sentinel in the sky. And what's really cool about this is it's looking at Earth's weather, but it's also looking the other direction too, at space and the sun specifically. So what are we seeing up there? Why are we looking for space weather? So GOES-U has a brand new instrument on board called the Compact Chronograph, known as the c -Corp. has a bunch of other space and solar instruments on board. Uh, so what happens here is with the Compact Chronograph, you look at the Earth's, the sun's uh, atmosphere, look for coronal mass ejections. And the C those are known as CMEs, and those, when they hit the Earth, if they're strong enough, can cause a geomagnetic storm, which can interrupt power grids, navigation, satellite communications as well. So it's something we really want to watch for. And NOAA has its Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado. So we're looking for all those hazards. So just like on the Earth, where we have tornado and severe weather watches and warnings, they too put out space weather watches and warnings. Now, we just had our first tropical storm of the season. Hurricane yeah. season's really kicking off this month. So how will GOES-U help us when it comes to hurricanes and tropical storms in the near future? So GOES-U and the whole GOES-R satellite series, they monitor the Earth every 10 minutes, a picture of the Earth, United States every five minutes. And when those hurricanes happen, we can take a picture of those hurricanes every 30 seconds. We'll see it to the eye, see the intensity that's swirling. We have the geostationary lightning mapper on board that can see the lightning in the inner eye wall, eye bands. When that lightning intensifies, that might show intensification of a hurricane. So the, the satellites provide that imagery and information uh, for the forecasters for warning, watches the warnings, and the data are also used for weather forecast models. So three, five, seven day forecasts, like the hurricane forecast or your general forecast are built upon the basis of satellite data. Okay, let's head right back to Florida. Here's another live look now. I think we're about eight seconds away. Let's take a look Two, now and a listen. One. Goes, go you. Lift off of Goes You, NOAA's new to, newest Vehicle weather satellite to monitor the Earth and Sun in high definition. Engines look nominal. Things looking good as you see uh, the Falcon Heavy soaring towards the heavens, uh, all 27 engines powerfully lifting goes you on its trajectory and ascent into space. A beautiful shot as we track telemetry nominal. the rocket from the ground here. The rocket is now powering down for Max-Q. Max-Q is the moment of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Max-Q expected at one minute, seven seconds. The vehicle is now supersonic. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. Traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. There we heard the call for Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the Falcon Heavy. Vehicle still performs very well, looking all the data looks nominal. A great shot from on board the rocket, looking down on the Earth that it is leaving. <laughs> and all 27 Merlin engines providing 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up at T uh, plus two minutes and 28 seconds, the side boosters are gonna shut off while the center core will continue on. Wow, what a shot there of again, all 27 
Merlin. And that was the launch there. Again, it's it's, it'll be located 22,300 miles above the Earth. We'll be right back.